If a teacher notices signs of abuse on their student, their child, should they report it? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I do. Absolutely. There is an obligation there. They legally have to, I'm pretty sure. There's some kind of thing that they have to sign. If you see something, say something. I completely agree. What about if you saw your next door neighbor abusing his or her child? Would you have an obligation to protect that child by speaking up as well? Definitely. I think so. Yes. Yes, I would. Absolutely. Like reporting it to the right authorities and taking yeah. action. I feel like I would have an obligation because I don't think any child should be abused because they don't deserve that. I would too. I mean, it's child abuse is not right either way. Yeah, again, see something, say something. Yeah, that's not okay. You can't. You can't let that happen. So would you say that abusing a child through abortion is wrong? Um, I'm not sure about that. And what are you not sure about? I'm not real clear on the question. I don't know how I would know if a child was being abused in that situation. Okay, so you don't know if abortion is abuse of a child. What do you think abortion is? Not done. It depends on, it really just depends. So it depends on the location of the child, whether the child is at a school, outside, your, in your neighbor's yard, or whether it's in the womb? No, because I think women have the right to choose. Okay. What about ripping the child apart limb from limb? Yeah. Is that abuse? In a way, yeah. I guess, yeah. Like if you, I mean, there's obviously like two ways to look at it, right? Like you could look at it from like one point of view and say like no, but then you could look at it from the other point of view and say like yes, absolutely. What's the difference in the point of views? Just if you're like pro or anti-abortion, right? Would you agree that it's logically consistent to speak up about that as well? No, personally, no, I don't think so. Okay, and why is that? Um, well, because in the womb, it doesn't have, you know, nerve endings or a brain. It doesn't feel or think. You know, and also it depends on the woman, what she's going through. If she were raped, I would not want to keep that baby, you know. Um. So you say that there's actually no nerve endings or a brain, but by week six, both of those are being developed. Okay. Um, a six-week fetus is developing nerves and their brain, and by week three, actually, about 21 days, the heart beats. Okay. Does that change your perspective at all? It doesn't. I'm pro-choice, but... You know, at the same time, like for, for like me, you know, and my friends, like if we were to have get pregnant, like we would just put it up for adoption. Like we're, you know what I mean? But I'm pro-choice. I feel like what other people's situations aren't, I don't know how to even say it. It's not up to me to like judge. I mean, if a woman needs to not have the baby that would and could potentially, you know, ruin a life, for example, they should have the right. I don't consider that abuse. That's not abuse in my book. Okay, so you said that it might ruin a life, like it'll ruin her life or the baby's life? It could ruin the woman's life. I know, like, for me, for example, if I were to get pregnant right now, that could totally derail and ruin my life, absolutely. So I wouldn't keep a baby. Okay. How would it ruin your life? It would ruin my life for financial aspect, my mental health aspect, um, my physical body, you know, like I have a right to not want my body to be affected, you know what I mean? But doesn't a child in the womb have a right not to have their body affected either? I mean, sure, but then again, I have all the rights to my body, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And if I don't want something, I'm not going to do that, you know what I mean? So your rights trump the baby's rights, essentially? Yes. You say you personally wouldn't get an abortion. Yeah like you would give the baby up for adoption, but yeah. you don't want to judge other people. It's almost like if you applied that logic to the child that's being abused at school and just let that child be abused because you don't want oh, to like judge I them. I wouldn't abuse my child. Yeah, I wouldn't abuse my child, but if they're abusing that, that's their business. decision. I know, it's like, that's what I mean. It, like, there's so many factors that go into it. When I think about it, I feel like if we offered more support, to women who are in like bad positions where like they feel like they can't have kids instead of getting an abortion if we offer them more support and more accommodations and help that would be like a good solution yeah. rather than rather than yeah. having an abortion and yeah. poisoning your child right and like ripping right. your child apart limb from limb like you said right